Let's now take a look at the footer elements. If we click on this, we can see a lot of different footers here, and there's some great time saving, um, and there's some great time saving features in here as well. So let me just go and show you a couple of these. Do you want to use an existing footer? No. So we're going to want to use this one. So you can put all links in uh, the footer here, link off to whatever, change any of the text, change the background. They're, they all work the same way. So you, do you want to use the existing footer? No. So you can only use one footer on a page. And that will then, and that footer will be applied to all of your pages. So if you didn't want to use an existing footer or you do want to use it, you just choose on each page you work on. Now I'm working on the home page, but if I was working on a thank you page or a different page, I might want to have a different footer on the bottom here. So now let's go up to this top one. You know, this has some great savings, time savers on this one. So do you want to use the existing footer? Right, I'm going to say no. But if I just want to use one for all of them, I would use... This is one that I use a lot, so then I would just select yes, and then this is going to be applied to all of your pages. So if we go to your business name here, I'm going to change that, and I put on here Easy Marketer. And I'll make that ch change that different from there. Easy Webinars. Okay, and where do we want this to link to? Well, I want a new tab. Uh, sorry, over here, a link that can link off to um, to Easy Marketers, uh, sorry, Easy Webinars website. So I'd put that in here. Okay, and choose a target. I want a new tab to open. All right, or if you wanted to remove this link, you could do that and you can change. Uh, there's no style in here to change. Click on Apply Changes. Oops, HTTP. So that's pretty good. You make a mistake, it'll tell you what you've done wrong. HTTP colon slash slash. Okay, it's not liking me today. Take out the www. So I'm going to enter Easy Webinars in here, open in a new tab, apply changes. Great, that's been done. That's changed now to Easy Webinars. We want to change this to 2021. That's changed. And you want to remove Easy Marketer from there if you wish, you can just go and remove that. Now, some time saving features we've got here is the disclaimer, the terms of use and the privacy policy. So these are pretty important to have on your website. So let's let's say we want to change this to terms and conditions. Well, you just click on that. And here where it says terms of use, we would say terms and conditions. And now we need to link that with our terms page. Okay. And our target, we want that to be self. No, we can we can have that as a new tab as well. So click apply changes, and now we've changed that text. So how do we edit our disclaimer, our terms and conditions, and our privacy policy? Because each of these link off to, so here's our disclaimer, we're going to link to our disclaimer page. Okay, choose a target, new, apply. Okay, now we go to our privacy policy, and we want that to go to our privacy page. And we want a new tab. Done. Okay, so they're all linked for you. So we've actually created standard disclaimer terms and privacy policy pages for you. So to amend those, you go to your pages, 
because look here we're now on our home page so we'd probably save this now so save that because if you're working on your footer you're probably close to the end of your website so we want to save that there now go to our pages and go to our disclaimer wait for that to load now we can see up here we're on our disclaimer page okay so this disclaimer is purely a sample you need to seek professional and legal advice on how you word your disclaimer for your website but this is a standard one in here and you can just go and amend any of the text that you've got in here same applies to the others so let's uh, pages so let's now go to our terms Again, telling you it's a uh, sample and we've highlighted all the areas in case you want to use the sample of where you would put your business name or your URL in there okay and an email address down the bottom so that's the terms and now let's have a look at what was the other one the privacy so your privacy policy again another sample in here the yellow is where you would need to enter your details in there change any of this text on here and none of this is legal advice at all in any way so you would go and seek your professional legal advice of what you should have for all your your terms your privacy policy and what was the other one and your disclaimer but that's how simple it is to uh, create your footers and your privacy policy and your terms and your disclaimer